Alright guys, Taylor Breeding here with Noob Outdoors and today we have the review of the Luz BB1. Uh, I had this reel for four months now and it hasn't gone down in performance at all. It is just a great reel. Uh, it is just as smooth as when I got it. It is super smooth. I've only greased and oiled it once and it is just amazing how well it still performs after just every week multiple times a week just just really in hundreds and hundreds of times and how well it still performs um Luz came out with this uh, a couple months before Christmas and it was a really big reel for Luz because this is the remake of the first Luz BB1 which basically start out Luz. Um, the one I have in my hand is the 511 gear ratio so it has a inch per turn of 21 inches and basically this is the exact same ratio that the first BB1 had. It has the pin brakes uh, most BB1's all the tournaments and the other Lose that are out there right now they can get from their website or tackle warehouse and place like that have magnetic brakes which can be good um really they only work really well for the more expensive reels out right now um that's why i like the pin brakes just because it's so much more customizable and customizable for the price um but i'll show you how to access and change your brakes and stuff i like how Lose designed it with a pin that is uh, spring so you don't have to twist it off every time and stuff which can be really annoying when you just put a new lure on and you bird's nest a bunch of times and you have to get in there and change your pins it helps a lot so I'll try to do that you just take your fingernail and it just moves out like that so you push on it it's kinda hard without a rod on but you just push that out like that you're holding it and then And it twists off it's usually not that hard you can also grease it too if you want to um but it's much easier with a rod it's just an awkward kind of angle uh but here we have the brakes and we have two kind of brakes we have the brakes that are always on forgot what Luz calls them they have some special name for them uh and then you have four spring brakes which are only on when you start the cast so you don't bird's nest right off the bat but they do turn off as your lure goes out there a little ways the blue ones are always on from start to finish of your cast so those are just your most reliable brakes if you put a new lure on and you want to make sure you're not going to bird's nest um it the brakes work really well on the loose you can tell obviously a gigantic difference um and obviously having the little spring spring latch helps a lot. Um, right here, let's see if I can do it a little bit faster this time. Yeah, it was just giving me a hard time before. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And then when you put it back on, you hear that click, and then you know it's back on. You can push it in and make sure. Uh, it's got the extra wide, they call it. Um, line director um it has the audible drag system which is nice works well also makes so you don't burn this as easy sometimes for this it helps a little bit but it's nice um it comes in right handed and left handed models it uh has this one's a 511 gear ratio, then it goes up to 641 and a 711 gear ratio, right handed and left handed. So, for pretty much every fisherman, there's the Lose BB1 for whatever you like. Um, what else? It is it's meant for cranking, but I use it for pretty much everything. It's just a really good reel. Um, it's super smooth, button smooth, doesn't have any issues with it. It's got uh, a really big spool, which is nice. It holds 160 pounds 
160 yards of 12 pound line. Uh, what I use right now is FluoroClear P line, which is just the best that I've found um, that works with this reel. Uh, it's just super smooth reel. It has the little oil compartment deal that you can unscrew and get in there and oil that and then spin it a couple times and then it goes to all your gears which is very nice um it's pretty light it's not the lightest reel um but it's very solid you can tell it's not going to break that easily um obviously everything breaks so if you pound this thing up and don't take care of it um it will break but it's compared to a lot of reels out there it seems very sturdy um and for the price is probably the best reel you can buy for the price um it's 160 dollars and mine was 170 with tax but it's worth every penny of it because it is just a phenomenal reel for the price um i just love this reel because it's just everything you want and for the price you can't beat it it's it's just a great reel you're not gonna have any problems with it it's not that high maintenance you're gonna want to clean it every couple months but other than that you won't really have to worry about it um, it's just a really solid really good reel and I highly recommend it to anyone who is looking for a new bait caster or has lose and wants to get a new lose or just wants to try this reel out it is you're not gonna go wrong it has the paddle handles I put the real grips on just because it looks I like the look of it better um, but the normal paddles are soft too and just work fine I just like to keep them protected too just to keep this as good condition as I can um, but other than that it is just a phenomenal reel I'd highly recommend you go in and get one thanks